Welcome to Mark Strong Edits. Today we're going to take a look at tracking 3D objects to faces using Element 3D and After Effects built-in Mocha Tracker. We'll also be taking a look at tracking 2D layers 100% within After Effects with no plugins. Let's check it out. Okay, we're gonna start off by right clicking, we're gonna choose new, and we're gonna create a new solid. We're gonna name this layer element. This is where we'll put our element 3D effect from Video Copilot. So we'll right click in the effects panel and choose element, and we'll select scene setup. And I'm gonna hit import, and I have my object I've already created in Blender, it's a .obj, so make sure it's an obj file. I'm going to add a quick material since mine didn't carry over. And I'm going to add a quick environment texture here to match our scene, something that looks a little warm. There we go. Under our group one, we'll choose that drop down and we're going to go to our particle replicator drop down. And we're going to position this with the position XY option. And let's just put that right over the eye. Under our particle look, we can choose particle size and scale this down a little bit. And we'll just drag this and adjust it how we see fit. With our footage selected, we're going to choose the animation window at the top and choose Track in Boris FX Mocha. We'll click the Mocha button. Now here inside of Mocha, we're going to choose our spline tool and just create our track points around the eye. And we'll hit our Track Forward button. So now in the upper left hand corner, we have this arrow down. We'll hit that to save our track data and we'll close out of Mocha. We'll create a new null object. With our footage selected, in our Mocha settings, we'll choose Tracking Data dropdown, create track data, and enable layer one. We'll change the export to to our null object. And we'll modify the source to effects and mask. I'll turn on my element layer, and I'm going to drag the pick whip from my element layer down to the null object. That's going to parent the two. And I'm going to change this from corner pin to transform, and we'll hit apply export. Now this does offset our 3D layer a little bit, so we'll select our element layer. And under the particle replicator, we're going to adjust the position XY. So we'll just drop that right over the eye a little bit. Now there's a couple different anchor points here, so we don't really want to drag, because so we might offset something else. So we'll just use our sliders here. And we'll slide that into position, adjust our rotation. And that about does it for tracking 3D objects to faces using Element 3D, Mocha, and After Effects. My final export has a couple different color effects on it, but the tracking process is all the same. Now we can use this same tracking workflow to track 2D objects to faces, that way you don't have to invest in any pricey plugins. So let's check that out real quick. So I've downloaded an image of a Terminator, and I'm going to scale this into scene just over the actual actor's eye. I'm going to lower the opacity, and with the pen tool selected, I'm just going to draw a mask around the eye. That's about good. We'll bring up the opacity. I'll hit F on the keyboard. We'll feather this a little bit. And we're going to drag the pick whip down to our null object. Tracking's already been done in Mocha. And that's it. Once you've applied your tracking data to your null object, you can parent any object to it and it'll follow that track. So whether it's a nasty cut or Mike Tyson's tattoo, anything will follow that track point from here. And that about wraps up this tutorial. As always guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section or if there's any other tutorials you would like for me to make. 
I'll catch you guys on the next one.